Hello and welcome back to another Metal Cheddar's video and look at this absolute amazing battle you've got going on in front of you. The two Ant Queens look fairly docile at the moment. They're not really doing a huge amount, but don't you worry, they will get into it. They will get into it. And I've just noticed that this has got to be one of the best arenas I've ever made because it literally took one placement. It's a massive, like, glass arena. It's, it's awesome. It keeps them in. You get a nice bit of light in here as well and a cool aesthetic with the shadows beneath. Now, initially, I was a little bit skeptical about spawning in the infected broodmother just because of how OP she is. But nevertheless, I thought you can't have a real boss battle without the best boss of all time, can you? <laughs> I like how there's just there's just a black ox beetle like walking past. He's uh, he's making his way over that. He literally looked and he's like, yeah, fuck that. And just turned around and left. So at the moment we've got the mantis is going at both of the ant queens. The ant queens are trying to spawn her minions on them, which is pretty much the extent of their power. They belly flop. That's me belly flopping. And then they spawn in a load of ants. The termite king. Ugh. Termite King is out of there. Who would have guessed the Termite King would die? I kind of want to get them like all incorporated, but they're not really having it, are they? They're sort of all doing their own little thing. You've got your own separate battles going on over here. You've got Ass Man and his dad over there taking on the infected Broodmother with the Wasp Queen. The Black Ant Queen is dead. Is dead. She had an unfortunate run-in with the Mantis who seemed to have killed her. Infected Broodmother is down. The Black Ox Beat was toying with the idea. He's like, yeah, I could get in on this. I could get in on this. And then he just disappears again. He's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> right, we've got a four-way going here. Ant Queen's not really getting involved. Nothing's really phasing her too much. They're kind of cool. They're kind of... <laughs> belly flop, belly flop. Get some minions in there to take them out. She's lasted long. She's lasted long. Nothing's really bothered by her at the moment. He's coming back. The Black Hawk's been... <laughs> look at him, just looking. And he's like, no, I don't want this. I don't want... He's like... <laughs> he's gearing himself. No, he's back. He's back. Can he aggro from out there, do you think? I'm sorry, my my gaze has been diverted right now. <laughs> He's in on it, he wants a piece of it. Sorry, I should be focusing on the Ant Queen, the new Ant Queen. You came to see the Ant Queen, not me laughing at a Black Ox Beetle. He's trying his hardest, bless him. Look at him looking through the glass. <laughs> he feels so left out, I might have to get him in here. I might have to do a restart, I'll restart it, I'll bring him in to see how he does. Who's your money on, people? Who's your money on? Do you have the Ant Queen? Do you have the Ant Queen? I don't. I personally don't. I've seen her in action. And as much as I love that belly flop attack, it doesn't really do much apart from spawning ants. But the ants are a proper hindrance, really. I was going to say pain in the ass. I said it anyway. They're a proper pain in the ass because they just nibble at you. They're nibbling at all of the, the bosses and sort of like get in the way. No, Mantis, no! The Mantis is going for the Ant Queen. The man has killed the Ant Queen. <sighs> so now we're left with quite possibly four of the absolute best. Uh, and the Black Ox Beetle. So we have Schmecter, Mantis, Wasp, and Infected Broodmother. It's kind of obvious. Everyone sort of expected this. I haven't had the Mantis for a while, actually. I haven't seen him in action for a while. Maybe they've made him better for whatever reason. I highly doubt it, but it'd be cool if they did. And for those of you wondering where the Fire Ant Queen is too, she be broken. She be good and broken. Yeah, because they're not initially supposed to be spawned in, I explained this in another video, because she's not initially supposed to be spawned in, neither of those two, they don't act like a regular bug. And for some reason, her health... Uh, if anyone knows the reason why, I have no clue. But if there's like a valid reason in the legit game as to why she doesn't take damage after a certain point or until a certain point, let me know. But this is, this. it shouldn't happen because this isn't in the actual garden. Oh, there we go, they're both on the last life. This is just in a playground arena. To be fair though, to be fair, the Ant Queens lasted quite long. They lasted longer than most of the bosses. I'm pretty sure they lasted longer than the Termite King. Is it a boss? This is kind of boring now because everyone sort of know, knows what happens here. Maybe if I spawn in two Ant Queens, yeah! Once this one's over, I'll, I'll try it again, but I'll put, two, I'll put two ant queens in there. Two blacks and two two reds. Them. There we go. Who would have guessed it? It's kind of obvious. It is the infected broodmother. She has come out victorious yet again. I'm going to do it without her, so I'm going to put in... I, I don't have live feedback, so I don't know what anyone else is saying right now. I'm going to get rid of the infected broodmother because everyone knows she's just overpowered as shit. Uh, and I might try it again with just one of everything. See how that goes. Shh. Shh. I 
es un secreto, es un poquito secreto, es, 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 es otro secreto, Shh. No one has to know about the vast amount of baby ants I harbored underneath their bodies. No one needs to know this, do they? But this is it now with some, some babbies, some babbies. I thought I'd put some babbies in just to, just to, you know, lighten the mood a little bit. Because what, what lightens the mood like killing babies? Yeah! Don't hide behind me. Don't hide behind my headless body. Oh, 1.4, a massive update. They've removed Pete's head. Oh my god, what's happening? Uh, so most of the babies are actually dead. It is now just the little minions that the ants are spawning. I'm not really sure what's going on. Is the... I feel like the assistant manager has beef with the ant queen. There we go. Look at that. I think it stuns them a little bit when he does the belly flop. But apart from that, not a huge amount else. See, this is the good... This is why I kind of like having them in here. Like, they're not great. I would like it if one's dead already. Like, I literally said they're not great and it died. We know they're not great. As much as I would love to see them actually fight like a proper insect because they are absolutely massive and I feel like they would, if they had like proper insect tactics, this one's dead. Every time I like try and big them up, they die. Um, but yeah, seeing them walk around like a spider or, or just any other insect, absolutely annihilating everything else would be so cool. It'd be insane. Hey, Roy's here. The Blackhawks finally got in. Oh, it's his redemption story. Oh no, after so long, he spent outside of this glass dome he's now finally made his entrance and he's here to stay people the new boss has been announced the new boss of grounded is here and he ain't he ain't leaving <laughs> oh no the blackhawks people outlasted the ant queens well, i guess that sort of puts it puts that one to bed the ant queens aren't great they're not insects that are supposed to fight in battles they are they're like an accessory insect so if i had an army of ants they'd be a great accessory insect to that army of ants because they would just keep reproducing more and more ants make a make a bit of a hindrance you know get in the way cause cause havoc cause an upset you know you, no one wants ants running around them when they're trying to fight you know mate how has roy outlasted like most of the other bosses admittedly he he was on a late one he started late but um what's going on here <laughs> Oh, he died. He died. Boss Roy is gone. Boss Roy is gone. And now pretty much we're back to the original three. I kind of guessed it would have gone this way. It, it's the exact same as it was before, minus infected broodmother. So I'm going to make a bet. I'm going to put everything. I'm going to put uh, my house, uh, all my money, uh, my body on the line. And I'm going to bet all of that on the Wasp Queen winning this one. I swear to God, if the if Director Schmechter wins this now, so someone's going to own my body. Uh, for those of you who are completely new to Grounded, who've never actually played it before, never really watched any videos on it, you know, you might be on a PlayStation, you might be on a Nintendo Switch, and you have no idea about the game. You've come to the wrong place to learn about the game, you've come to the right place to laugh and have fun. <laughs> if you do happen to be new here, which most of you usually aren't, mate... <laughs> Some... What? No! No, someone owns my body. I lost the pet. My house, my money, um, my body, it's all gone. So, in the comments, <laughs> whoever bet Schmechter to be the victor of this match, congratulations, you now own me. You own my life. You own my life. Here, have, have an apple. Have my apple. But I hope that was as entertaining as you expected it to be. So, like I said, if you're new here, hello! My name's Liam, nice to meet you. If in the previous match you bet on Schmechter to win, congratulations, you now own me and my YouTube channel, so I'll let you do an outro yourself. Thank you, goodbye.